Hey physics class, so I've got one more thing for you to do with our uh, concept, our non-relativistic concept of black holes, and that is to find the smallest one. Now, when it comes to black holes, these things are massive. Did you ever see this picture of the M87 black hole? This is the one that um, was captured um, it was this last year, and it's the uh, best slash only photograph of a black hole that we have. All the other images that are evidence of black holes are of gravitational lensing, but this one you can actually see the uh, the disk around it. Now this black hole is enormous. It's um, about the size of our solar system, I believe. It's absolutely enormous. It's it's like an entire galaxy's worth of mass. In a singularity. But when we're talking about black holes of things like the Earth and it's only like, you know, um, two thirds of an inch across, it seems like small black holes would be a lot more common. And after I asked you to find the size of small black holes, it kind of does beg the question how small do black holes get? Well, it turns out that there is. A limit to how small things can get. And we have the smallest possible length, maybe I should say the smallest measurable length, which is the Planck length. And the Planck length is approximately 1.6 times 10 to the negative 35 meters. So I hereby put to you the smallest hypothetical object. The smallest hypothetical object would be a sphere of diameter one Planck length. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 35 meters. If that is the diameter, then the radius would be half of that, obviously, which would be, here, let me mark it in red. That radius would be eight times 10 to the negative 36 meters. Again, this is smaller than the smallest measurable distance. It's just that the uh, equation calls for a radius. So my question is, what is the mass of a black hole of this size? Let me remind you of the equation. Um, we found that um, 6.75 times 10 to the 26 would have to be the ratio of the mass to the radius. Well, now we have a radius. Can you find that mass? And what is there in the world that has a mass approximately equal to that? So this uh, video is for Thursday. And uh, since this is so short, I just think I'm going to throw a word in here now. And, uh, you know, Friday we can just... Uh, have a graded assignment that you know, just kind of reviews stuff and uh, and we're through.